Simon Kennedy from British, and uh, I'm going to show you around uh, this year's uh, collaborative build. Okay. Um, so it was a build of about 30 people involved, uh, whether they were just building cars, putting in minifigs, building landscapes, putting in buildings. And um, about four of us uh, pulled together most of the roads and the junctions and the layout and the trees, and the other people were involved with bringing buildings. Um, the majority of them, 90% of them, uh, are original mock uh, buildings and uh, the rest of them are maybe modified modulars or other modified sets. Um, uh, this year's layout we added in a canal, we added in an elevated railway with a train that's programmed to start and stop uh, around the layout. Uh, we've also got uh, LED street lamps, we've got 80 of them around the setup and things like that and the trees and the railway and the canal help tie the whole thing together. And gives it quite an authentic feel in some yeah, way. Yeah, for... yeah, exactly. And so it feels a bit more um, like a town than it has done in previous years. So shall we walk through it? Yeah. Um, so what yeah, is so this? Here's, uh, this is just a park area uh, and a city hall. It was the same builder um, built all this uh, together. Um, and the judges is outside. Lots of details, the yeah. It's a courthouse. And then the next series of buildings were all built by uh, uh, Matt Burks. I met him yeah. at uh, um, another expo. We talked at length. And then reactions. really, yeah, there's about 20 builders built the different modulars. Uh, so some of them are pretty nondescript. Um, here's like an art gallery. And then you can see in the background there, the elevated train just coming past uh, from there. the station. Um, but yes, yeah, a variety um, of different modulars and builds. Uh, that's the back of the town hall set, which has been uh, tripled in size and made into uh, an elevated railway station. Um, so this is then, another set um, of people's. So you can see this is modified sets, Lockwood Manor, um, and then some other builds, a modified assembly square. Yeah, I recognize the fountain and, for that uh, one. And then. Uh, Alongside that, uh, fire station, police station, and then a, a very old fine uh, modular, an old grey built by Warren Ellsmore. And um, yeah, Tim Goddard building the, the chicken shop, uh, Sarah Bath, That's quite uh, next fun. to it building the, the tea and the cake shop. And um, yeah, it's a team effort. There's so many people involved, I can't really tell you who they all are, but... Um, well, that's quite fun, because like, just like any town, you've got different architects. Yeah, with exactly, different sections. Yeah. So it's a big mix. But it all looks like, like you said, like, as well, like, like a cohesive all, because yeah. the streets are the same. Yeah, and then a fantastic crane by Nick Barrett, just in the end there. Because it's still under construction. And then, um, as you swing round, you're coming to a church, which is built by Julian Prentice. Uh, with a wee graveyard on the end, and looking down the looking down the street, you get a glimpse of how good it is with all the lights and the trees. It's massive. Yeah. And there's a bit of a carnival float going on at the same time. It must be very hard for the kids not to want to touch everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> having the canal and the railway helps keep a bit of distance and saves the number of trees being knocked over. Oh, that's a good point. And uh, so we've got the Blue Anchor pub at the end, the tube line, it's a bit of an Art Deco thing coming on next with the petrol station and then the hotel next to it. And um, uh, Sarah Bath's got another ice cream shop. Then Jamie, the president, who is the chairman of Brickish, his news shop, another part of the assembly square put together. And now you're seeing bits of the float um, by different guys who've joined in to do that. So we got Elsa and Anya. Uh, Old mammals, classic space. Oh, you got an impressive looking And then you've got there. the front end of the, the town halls together doing the front of the station. Mm. A couple of humpback bridges, which might be a little steep for cars to get across, but you know. Well, there's been an accident here. Yeah, yeah there has. A pretty bad one, they've lost a the wheel. <laughs> the police don't mess about in this town. Uh, no. And then a lovely uh, mock by Dave Ayton, uh, Phil's Photoshop. 
And then actually that's a couple of modulars by me. That's a local um, coffee shop to me, Ready Coffee Shop in Luxembourg. It's my favorite coffee shop, so I built that in Lego. And then just um, corner modular. And then we're getting onto the square, which was built by Naomi and Stuart uh, Crawshaw. And, uh, so who, which is likes, lovely. who likes the um, old phone booths? Because I've yeah. seen quite a few of them. Well, yeah, they're lovely. Naomi and, uh, Naomi and Stuart Crawshaw designed them and built them, uh, which is nice. And then there's a nice little English pub on the corner, uh, built by David Croxon, I think it was. And then, obvi- and then obviously we have to have a Lego store. Of course. Uh, which is built uh, by Andrew. And a castle right next to it. Uh, yeah. Is that the old part of town? Yeah, that castle's just appeared. They must have <laughs> built that this morning. What was there before? It was a, it was a ruin of a castle before. Oh. So that's brilliant. Uh, there's a big queue for the Lego store, which is no surprise. Mm. And then we're coming around the other side of the square and you've got a hat shop in the corner and um, then a nightclub then we've got the music recording studio again built by Sarah Bath and um, an Apple store yeah Apple <laughs> store every every town has one <laughs> uh, actually every good town has an Apple store and a Lego store near each other doesn't it uh, and then that's a modified detective's office uh, set that was doubled up and the Sanctum Centurion. Yeah, that's right. And there's a problem there with the lights and the uh, police station. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You have to talk to the architect about and that. And then uh, the Octan station. And then actually it's got to be worth showing you the Edinburgh double-decker bus that uh, Warren and Kitty Ellsmore built, which is really, as I come from Edinburgh as well, it's really, that's a great model. Um, yeah, so there we go. Well, that was a nice whistle-stop tour of your town. Absolutely amazing. Well, here's and here the comes train the train. By. There we go. Yeah, so we've got the train, the sensor's in the track. So it's just an ordinary 9-volt train. And so you can run any train on the layout. And uh, it'll stop and start and get to the right speed to get up to the station and down the ramp. So, yeah, so we managed a bit of light, a bit of movement in the layout. It makes a big difference. And then you've just spotted the big gap in the layout. <laughs> and that's us, so. Really impressive. Yeah, so it's about just under eight meters long and about uh, a meter and a half wide, so. Uh, it's, it's that big. There's no way you can, like, plan this at home or anything like this. Yeah, so. I mean, most of, the, most of the layout is planned. We don't plan exactly where all the buildings go, but they're obviously the corner units, and the, we try and group things together but there's always people who can't make it last minute or models last minute that turn up so you have to just kind of adapt to it as it goes so no brilliant thank you very much for showing me around no problem at all